Right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of the CTBH 2009 conference. Hopefully you all found day one to be a stimulating day. Well, as usual with our conferences, they just get better from here on in. Um, we're absolutely delighted to be able to uh, convene the panel that we've convened to open the session this morning. We have three excellent speakers, and I'd just like to um, uh, thank very much His Excellency Muhammad Ali Alibar, who's the CEO of EMAR and the owner of the Burj Dubai, the world's tallest building, uh, for traveling from Dubai to share some ideas and sentiments behind that remarkable building. Before we get into the opening session, this is my one chance to tell you all a little bit more about the council for five minutes, if you could bear with me. Um, I, I think many people in the room are already members. Uh, if you're not, I'd like you to ask yourself why you're not a member when you're at a conference about tall buildings. Our ambition is to in include every company that is active in the field of tall buildings. Designing, building, maintaining, owning. Um, and I think you'll see on all our publications a pretty impressive list. If your company is not on that list, hopefully we can talk and do something about that. For those people who were at the dinner last night, you should have received a, a copy of this. Um, for those who don't know, the Best Tall Building Overall Award last night was uh, awarded to the Linked Hybrid Building, Beijing. A fantastic tower, seven towers uh, linked by sky bridges at the top. And Stephen Hall um, received the award for that building. You all know, because we had the session yesterday, that this is our 40th anniversary. It's a pretty big deal for us. That's why we've come back to our home city of Chicago for this conference. Um, we have a number of publications complimentary for you to take away during the conference. Our 40th year uh, booklet. Um, we also have the, the, uh, a journal uh, produced in conjunction with Wiley. Uh, and we also have the, the Lynn Beale book. And you heard yesterday, Lynn was the founder of the council 40 years ago. So all that material is upstairs. Hopefully you receive our journal and you see the great strides we've made in that recently. And also at the exhibition stand, we have the uh, info archives. So if you haven't visited the exhibition stand yet, I'd, I'd encourage you to do so. We have great material there, all the books that we've showed you already. Posters, so the Innovative 20 poster, which you see on the screen now. Um, and I think a lot of companies in the room are represented on that poster, so hopefully this is something that you'd be proud to put up in your offices. Uh, there's about four or five posters for sale. A couple of things just to point out to you, some of, the, some of the CTBH resources available on the website that you may not be aware of. Our website's many thousands of pages, so um, some of this stuff is hidden. Hundreds and hundreds of technical papers, which has been the mainstay of the council for 40 years. Uh, on all, in all disciplines. So when you're doing your designs and research, the technical paper depository is a, is a big resource. We have literally thousands of images of tall buildings on our website ready for you to use free. So you don't have to go to all these big image data banks and pay lots of money. Come to the council website. All we ask is that you credit the council. Video library. Uh, over these two days, we are interviewing 18 prominent people uh, in the interview room, and we publish this material on our website. It's very useful for continuing education credits, things like that. We add to our website every day global news on tall buildings from around the world. Um, so many people subscribe to that in an RSS feed and get it through their, to their inboxes. And then we collate it once a month and send it out in the form of the newsletter. If you're not signed up for this newsletter, for those that I think you'll agree it is a, quite a valuable thing to receive, if you're not, you can sign up at the uh, exhibition booth. And also design research projects that we undertake in conjunction with universities around the world. Um, we have a mission at the council, and that is to uh, continue the dissemination of best practice that we've been doing for a long while, but also we want to be there to be the creators of this material. And our ambitions are to move more into research, research funding, um, and hopefully you're gonna see that in the next few years. And I'd encourage any involvement in that from our members, especially if you have any funding sources. Um, for all those companies that may subscribe to Emporis, and I, I apologize in advance if there's anyone from Emporis in the room, I suggest you cancel your subscriptions because next month we are gonna be launching our new toll building database which is actually, in my opinion, better than Emporis, and again, absolutely free. Uh, you can find 
information on buildings all around the world, download, make your own lists, you know, the tallest 10 concrete buildings in Australia or whatever you want to do. Um, so please look out for that next month. And our sustainability working group, uh, we promised to give you a feedback on that at this conference. It's taken us a little bit longer to get the book out than we would have liked. Um, but certainly, we have a, the material in, we're going through the editing process, and this book is going to be published at some stage next year. Final word. From here, the next conference is in Mumbai in February. And I think that's an amazing statistic, that the population of India is set to touch one billion and eventually overtake China. I think many of you know that India is a massive growth market. Um, and we're taking our conference there in February to tap into that market, to allow you to tap into that market or reinforce the contacts that you've already made. And we have an exhibition stand with our colleagues from Mumbai here at the conference. So I'd encourage you all to go and visit that and see how you can be involved in the Mumbai conference. You know, some of you are probably sat in those seats thinking, this is a pretty good event. We'd like to speak at that event or we'd like to chair or we'd like to exhibit or do something like that. Well, all that takes is conversations to make those kind of things happen. So please reach out to us and, and we'll see what we can do. The very final thing to lead into the opening session this morning. Um, obviously, the, the height of the Burj Dubai has, um, has, has been a big issue for, for a long time. It's a closely guarded secret. I don't think we're going to get His Excellency to tell us how high it is today. The building is um, nearing completion. Uh, what I wanted to say was um, not a lot of people know how tall the Burj Dubai is. And actually, probably a lot of those who think they know how tall it is don't know how tall it is either. Because as David Scott mentioned yesterday, we convened a panel of our height committee and we're recommending a change to our criteria. And a lot of attention on the height of tall buildings is focused on the top of the tower. Should we have spires? Should we count antennae? But actually, the base of the building is really, really interesting. And our criteria, as it's been for the last 20 years or so, we thought is now no longer robust, because that used to just say, measured from the sidewalk of the main entrance. Well, you, many of you were at the welcome reception in Trump the other night. Where is the main entrance? We've got two entrances on Wabash. We've also got the entrance at the River Walk, which is, I think, 31 feet below that. And if you look at the Burj Dubai, there are three main entrances for a mixed-use tower, all at completely different levels, but all essentially above grade. So we're going to be going live with this in the next week or so, but you're getting an insider to hear about it first, that the, the height criteria is going to be changing, um, and certainly the Burj Dubai and the Trump Tower and other buildings in similar situations are probably going to be a, a little bit taller than people thought it was going to be. So with that, I'd like to hand over to Bill Baker um, from Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, who's going to chair this session today. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to have a, a great session with three fantastic speakers. Could you put your hands together for Bill in the panel, please?